I, I think I came here the first time in the 88, when I just had started to study architecture. I came in April and it was terrible, so I didn't fall in love with this city at all. But I think it is a wonderful combination of many things. Milano is a strategically positioned between the south and the north. You know, you're just in the border to the Alps. The other side of the Alps starts the Protestant Europe, the north, where I come from. I was asked to work uh, for a kind of a limited edition promotional design for Sony uh, to design a, a ch new charger or kind of additional to the charger, the mobile phone charger, and we all have them. You know, they are the ugly plastic things which are kind of necessary to have, but we don't want, we wouldn't want them, but we have to have them. And so I, I thought that I make a plate uh, where this uh, charger is actually hidden inside of the plate. A kind of plate where you put your man stuff, you know, the coins, the credit card, the business card, the, I don't know, the, your ring, your watch, you know, things which is in your pocket and you have to leave it somewhere. And you want it to stay somewhere, but there's a not a decent place in many of the homes for that. There is also a kind of slot where you can put your mobile phone, but I thought that that could be also a slot used for the, you put your envelopes, the business cards, you know, sticking out there. So when you are not using as a charger anymore, because that becomes the technology obsolete, you can still use it. It doesn't become meaningless after the, the charging function is taken away from that. Yeah, it is in one way a process of making beautiful something everyday object, you know, it's a, you might call it, I wouldn't call it luxury as such because that feels tacky, but it is making something special. It is not uh, paint, it's not uh, plastic, it's burned, you know, <laughs> it's, it's branded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. 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 If, if you jump in the car in a filmic way. Me, it is interesting, you know, to be there, you know. Yes. I could just basically hang out there. Yeah, you could. Just, <laughs> yeah. You know, just kind of look. Probably I would be bothering them all the time when I would be <laughs> kind of asking, what is this? Where this comes from? Can you do it like this? Is it, can it be thinner? <laughs> When it can be finished, if I buy this, how much? <laughs> <You know? laughs> no, but it's, it's like this, that you are in the kind of wonderland. Is it here? No, no, it's just uh, wonderful. The, the trash is hung. No, I think it is because of the water. We are going to see Claudio, Claudio Tiozzo, and uh, Claudio is one of the glass masters of the Murano. He is continuing his father's work, and his father's name was Sergio, Sergio Tiozzo. Becomes. Uh, if you want the perfect here the, the glass mm. the diameter pizza yeah. it's similar 
a diametro mu. We make a mold and we test it. Yeah, yes, yes, That's yes. The here where the craftsmanship is uh, still remained for the unique pieces, small series, so they can do more, they can do more different things. They are still able and they can manage the very complex. And I think it's a kind of historical connection between the Scandinavian class tradition, mostly Swedish and Finnish, and then the, the Venice that there was a Finnish designer like uh, Tapio Virkala or Timo Sarpaneva who came here and actually made here in Murano their most famous pieces or the pieces they are internationally known. So to come here it is like uh, you can suddenly express everything you thought you would like to do in the north. Buongiorno. Somebody had an idea what's going on. Typically, this is the guy who sits there and puts things together, opens the holes, you know, shows that you put it here. But somebody has to have this role in the, in the group, and he, of course, has it because he knows the best. And the others are the helping, but I, can't, I don't think you can take one person away from that group. I, when I speak to these people, we don't have the same language. We, we speak broken English, bad Italian. But the drawings are still the, the precise, they are the documentation. And if I think about like as a designer, you know, traditionally nowadays, it is the drawing I give to the client or the craftsman who will then finish the project. The drawing is the final documentation leaving when the design process finishes with me, it is when I give the drawing. It's, it's like a book for the writer, or it's, it is a final film for the filmmaker. So it, in the one way it is the final product, because I'm not doing the final product. I was asked to do the Alvar Aalto Furniture Exhibition in the Stockholm Architectural Museum. And I'm a, I'm a Finnish designer and architect, which been having this kind of overwhelmed uh, information about Alvar Aalto. So it's a kind of tricky spot you uh, have to kind of uh, sneak yourself out of the kind of uh, expected, you know, thing. And, uh, so what did I do is that uh, I asked all the Alvar Aalto furniture to, which would be displayed to be painted white. And during the exhibition we invited the kids group, groups of children, to come and paint them with uh, this kind of uh, finger paints, all the furniture. So during the process of the exhibition it turned from white exhibition into the very colorful exhibition. And then by the end of the exhibition, the painted pieces were auctioned. So then of course the parents came and bought their kids painted <laughs> piece of furniture. So. Actually Alvarado said that don't forget to play. And it is very important because uh, with the idea that something is play, we can also tackle some serious and important things with lightness and ease. Do you play? In one way, if you think about design, it's playing. 
it's a, if you think about certain kind of play, it's a simul simulation of reality. You know, you play home, you play with the cars, or you play with something which is not really real, or there's no danger, or situations like in the reality, so you can kind of rewind or stop. But then, of course, in the work of design, there is a play. In you know, one way, it's, uh, you are playing with the ideas. And it's not a play in a such way that it is stupid and meaningful, meaningless. That it is a children's game. It's kind of an organized game. I played, you know, since always. I remember my childhood has been playing all the time. With my, I had a sister. I had a lot of friends always around. And uh, I think I still do, you know. <laughs>